Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. This is Rajan from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. And as part of this video KB, we are going to discuss about the egress process in MDM Next Customer 360 SaaS applications. First, let's begin with the agenda for today's session. We will start with an overview on egress process, egress export types that is available right now in the product and a brief checks on the prerequisite to create an egress job and finally on the available options to trigger those egress jobs and how exactly we can monitor those respective egress jobs. Egress process. So and once we load and master the records in MDM Business 360 applications, the very next business requirement would be is to export those data and push it to a respective downstreams for subsequent stages. So you can export those mastered customer data from Business 360 data store to an external data source through this egress process. Overall egress flow consists of two steps. First one is stage step, second one is extract step. The stage step happens within the MongoDB. So it is a quite fast process. So what happens exactly in stage step is data is pulled from the master collection and returned to an egress collection within the MongoDB. So this egress service export the records from master or XREF collections, including the XREF links to the staging collection. So actually this is done to handle virtual masters and connector has only access to egress and landing collection. It can't directly connect to any other collection in tenant DB due to security reasons. In extract step, the MDM connector running in secure agent is used to pull the data from egress collection, apply transform and land the data into the required endpoint. This step will export the data from staging, I mean the egress collection to the end target configured in the CDA mapping using the MDM connector. This MDM connector is responsible only for fetching the data. CDA is responsible to transform and apply the further logics. Here CDA implies cloud data integration where we will be building the mapping, mapping task and respective task flows for this egress process. Okay, so this is the MDM egress process. So this is the entire flow of the process. So this should be in valid state and it should be published. Next, we will review the egress export types right now what it is available in the system. So users can either export all the data or incremental data after exporting all data for the first time. Additionally, users can also export source records and also they can specify whether they want to export only the master records or the source records for the specific source systems. Common types right now what is available is standard export, custom export and export all. Standard export exports all the records in the first run of the job and then exports the records added or updated after the first run incrementally based on the job schedule. So let's take an example, a user at 30 records during the first run. This standard export will export all those 30 records. After the initial run has been completed, let's say user is updating 15 records. So that is treated as an incremental update. So once that update has been done during the second run of the standard export, the job export will have the last updated 15 records. Okay. So custom export is something where the user will be specifying a date. Like I would need an export within this particular date time. So that can be selected accordingly. This export would be triggered. And the final option is the export all exports every data in each run of the job. Please note, standard export and custom export process holds true within that specific job definition. So now let's discuss about the prerequisites to create an egress job. For an egress job, we need to have a Business 360 connector as a source and any target connector as per requirement. For instance, we can use a flat file. The next prerequisite is we should 
ensure a secure agent is up and running as the runtime environment that needs to be used as part of this mapping task. Through cloud data integration service, you can create a mapping, mapping task and task flows. So I would be covering those details as part of a demo at later point of time. Please note job instance ID needs to be mapped all the way from task flow, data task, mapping task and mapping. So now let me uh, show you how exactly this particular egress mapping, mapping task, task flows and the respective job definitions can be created in the application. So once we log into the MDM SaaS application as part of the available services, we will be utilizing this data integration service for creating the mapping mapping task and task flow. So once I, we have logged in, new mappings. So this is where you'll be selecting the mapping and as part of the task flows creation, we'll be utilizing this task flow option. And we'll, once the mapping is created, this being an egress process, our source would be the business 360 data store. So as part of the source selection, the user needs to select the respect to business 360 data store business 360 data store connector from the administrator tab which already a connection would have been created once that is done please select the respective business entities which we would like to export in the field mapping levels we will be selecting the list of fields which we are planning to export as part of this particular process so so if you notice so this will list the available fields and the respective extra links and the respective field group values has been listed. So this needs to be selected and this needs to be added as part of our target. So in the target level, right now as part of the demo, I have selected a flat file in my target. So this can be changed as per the requirement, like whatever the downstream we, we would like to use, whatever the available connectors right now we can have so that you can add it so that the data business 360 data store business entity values can be exported to this target connectors. So once this is done, so we need to ensure a job instance ID is created in the in node parameters. So validate the mapping here. So mapping is valid, fine. As part of the next step, we need to create a mapping task. So you can create this new mapping task. Once the mapping task is created, so you would have a mapping task like this and you just need to ensure the job instance ID is properly configured here in the inode parameters. Once this is done, we need to create the task flow. So task flow we just need to include a data task and in this data task, we would be linking the mapping task which we created earlier. So in the start input fields, we need to have a job instance ID value selected. In the data task level also, as part of the input fields, we need to select the job instance ID and ensure the field job instance ID value is selected here as well. After this, the final process is to create the egress job definition. So that can be created from the business 360 console services, which can be accessed here. New jobs egress. So egress process has been job instance ID has been created. So you can define the export type which you would like to have as part of this job definition. The task flow which we created earlier in the cloud data integration needs to be added here. So this is the area where you will be selecting which particular type record type we are trying to export and the source system which we would like to export. So once the process and everything has been created, we just need to run this particular job so once it is initiated you would be able to check the status just go to the my jobs option and go to the respective job definition as we were discussing earlier the data has been exported as you can notice stage took 
just a few seconds this is because it will be happening within the mongodb extract took the time whatever is required as part of consuming those data from the mongo collection and it was pushed to the target connector now let's discuss what are the options right now available to trigger this egress job users can trigger the egress job through below methods first through business 360 console ui directly you can open the respective job instance and you can click run so that will trigger the process second method is we can trigger it as part of a api so we have a post api through that particular post api we just need to pass the respective job definition id and we can initiate the process through postman once the job has been triggered so the users can monitor the egress jobs through below methods either we can get it as part of my jobs page in business 360 console ui or also users can run the get api with the job instance id which was created for that respective egress job as part of a get call so through that also the job status and summary can be fetched utilizing a postman with these details we have concluded this particular topic so in case of any further queries comments or thoughts related to the presentation or the topic uh, please feel free to reach out to us over on gcs technical support case so your feedback is invaluable to us as we continue to refine and improve our kb articles and content thank you once again for your support wishing you all a wonderful day ahead